and welcome to Horizon Overland. In today's video, I'm going to show you my latest build, the 1989 square body suburban four wheel drive half ton. You could see it right behind me and we're going to do things a little bit different. Uh, usually I show you my uh, rigs in an industrial setting, but I actually decided to go on a solo overlanding trip in a wild camping spot in Stanislaus uh, National Forest. I found this uh, spot on iOverlander.com and it led me to this beautiful place. Let me go ahead and show you. Uh, it's about uh, three quarter miles uh, from the highway on a dirt road and then you come up on an entrance to this beautiful flat spot where it's you know you could see clear skies which is excellent for uh, you know solar the uh, suburban is sitting uh, very nicely on top of a uh, you know small little hill very flat area um, and this is going to be where I'm gonna sleep tonight it is a free wild camping spot as long as you follow the uh, you know the uh, national forest restrictions uh, uh, it should be fine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so uh, here it is. Uh, to quickly recap, this is a 1989 uh, Suburban square body with the fuel injected uh, 350 motor, four wheel drive. This is the Silverado uh, Suburban uh, model, which uh, came with all the bells and whistles inside. And actually the uh, paint is a Rhino liner finish. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, upgrades that were done on this build. Starting with the front, there is an addition of two LED spotlights with a uh, switch uh, installed inside under the dashboard. Um, a 4 inch rough country lift was added along with 17 inch wheels sitting on 35 inch Falcon uh, all-terrain tires uh, and the ground clearance is actually excellent. Um, there is the addition of two uh, bully side steps bolted directly on the body. Um, up here we see a smitty built four feet wide by five feet long a roof basket and currently on top I have tools and recovery equipment stored. Moving right along to this portion of the roof where you will see two Renogy solar panels. Each one of these solar panels is 100 watts for a total output of 200 watts and they are bolted and secured tightly on the rear part of the roof. Spotlights in the back. These are also very bright LED spotlights that are controlled with a switch uh, under the uh, dash and these lights are excellent if you're backing up in a very very dark foresty environment or if you just want to turn them on to open up the, tail, uh, the uh, rear barn doors in order to set up your uh, kitchen. And uh, so that's pretty much the exterior portion of this uh, build. Let's go ahead and move on to the interior. Okay, moving to the interior, starting with the front. Um, you could see the front the interior color is red. Uh, red back then was a premium, premium choice for these rigs. Uh, everything is red, even the headliner. Um, it's really nice. I like the red. It kind of creates a warm environment to be in, uh, you know, especially if you're spending time in here. So it's very classy. It's very kind of nostalgic and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, some of the additions up here. We have the addition of a backup uh, screen monitor, uh, which can be turned on full time using a uh, switch, the switch right here that is plugged into a 12 volt outlet. Um, the radio is no longer stock. This is an updated radio with Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary and everything all the modern stuff that you need it's also a cd player which is nice and all the speakers have actually been uh, been changed um, this is the these are the uh, switches for the led lights this one is actually for the rear and then we have one right here for the uh, front we have the addition of a auxiliary uh, outlet we got two usbs up here and a 12 volt uh, along with the 12 volt that sits inside this uh, this ashtray um, so that's pretty much the uh, front area. Let's go ahead and move on to the uh, rear area now. Okay, moving on to the rear. Um, I should mention that the windows actually have privacy tint on them. The uh, second uh, windows as well as the windows in the back. But back here we have, uh, I don't know if you can see it from outside, 
we have uh, insulation uh, installed uh, so that way it's completely private and also helps with uh, temperature control but these windows I've actually um, I bought a, a sleeve that you can dress them up and you can actually open the window at night while keeping bugs out okay so uh, this is the sleeve uh, the mesh sleeve that goes on top of the window and basically you open the door you dress the window up and then you now have the ability to close the door you could see uh, it's very nice and dark very private and the mesh allows you to open the window without allowing bugs to go inside so it's actually a really cool simple solution to get some air at night uh, if it's really hot as well as keep bugs out. I have uh, four sleeves for all the four windows. Got one, two, three, and four. But also, I have a front window, front windshield window shade for the front windows. So all windows can be covered for some privacy, especially when you're actually uh, sleeping inside. Um, so the second row seat, this part of the second row seat has been uh, kept. So this is, there's a seat belt uh, for two people. So this rig is a four person SUV, two person camper. Uh, and the individual seat that is usually, um, you know, by itself has been removed for some extra space. That's what it looks like with, uh, with the seat up. Let me go ahead and put the seat down in order to uh, turn this thing into a camper. So there's a lever back here that disconnects the front portion of the seat. The seat goes like this. And then when you, uh, when you disconnect, the seat comes down flat as such. And now you have access to the uh, storage compartments underneath here as well as on the other side okay so now it is a uh, two-person camper the uh, foam mattress the foldable foam mattress which has been custom cut to fit the width of the platform is extended out there's a fan you can keep the window open with the uh, mesh coverings and you can have a very nice cozy environment to uh, sleep in um, here we have a, a usb outlet as well as a 12 volt outlet. Um, here's your inverter on off switch. Um, this is your uh, side shelving area. In here we have some storage. The beautiful thing about these rigs is that they don't have a side bezel occupying. This is the newer models have rear AC here. This did not come with rear AC, so there was no need to have a side bezel. So actually when I do these side shelvings, I can take full advantage of the area inside, not only on top. Uh, and I did that here by incorporating a little cubby that uh, you know, I'm, I store some of uh, some of my pillows in here. Up here, I have my sleeping bag. You could see the window insulation on the rear windows for uh, privacy and also temperature control. Back there is, you know, I got two water jugs and you know some uh, some supplies and my 55 quart fridge, which is also accessible from the inside if you choose to remain in the comfort of the uh, cabin. On this side, we have uh, you know the battery compartment as well as uh, some, uh, you know, the shelving, which currently has some food items on it, inside of it. On this side, I have a spotlight, as well as the, uh, the window covering mesh for privacy and to keep the bugs out, I, you know, what I just showed you earlier. And here, uh, I have more storage space um, under the, uh, the side shelving unit. Here is a small battery reader. So that's pretty much the uh, sleeping area. Let's now go and open up the rear barn doors to show you the kitchen and the battery compartment. All right, guys, moving to the rear and opening the barn doors. The barn doors are really nice and they open all the way out. Uh, and this barn door uh, actually has a lever inside and it also opens very wide all the way out. And then here's the rear area. Uh, this is the 55 quart fridge um, and it is currently plugged into this 12 volt outlet which is uh, directly connected to the 100 amp hour auxiliary battery in the back and that battery is being powered by the uh, solar panels right now. Uh, the solar panels are uh, you know are connected to the solar controller this is a 20 amp energy solar controller right next to the 12 volt is two another two usb uh, outlets for the back area 
um, and down here is your uh, Coleman two burner propane stove and right behind the stove is the uh, two by four foldable uh, white table which I will pull out in a second when I set everything up for you guys um, over on this side there's a drawer with two handles uh, and I will also show you uh, how that works in a second but basically if you open the main drawer uh, it is storage for you know the cooking uh, the cooking uh, pots and pans and dishes and all the dishware and utensils but the bottom uh, drawer portion of this drawer is actually a sink um, it's a sink cutout so the sink that I sh that you saw inside actually you bring it in from the inside you open this drawer and you kind of insert it in the cutout and there's a topper uh, back here that you can uh, put on top of this drawer and then the water the water uh, container then sits right on top of it with the sink pulled out and that becomes your sink area the reason why I don't have the traditional sink uh, build that I usually do that is uh, you know uh, secured on the platform um, is because this rig has got such high ground clearance that it became becomes awkward to access the sink the water kind of up here so I thought it would be more accessible you know with a little bit of setting up to have it over here and I will do that in a second just to show you what it looks like this is a gray water uh, jug uh, usually uh, this is the clean water it sits here and then the sink uh, gets connected to the gray water tank you know so that way you drain directly inside that container and here I have the propane tank with the hose and there's some more supplies back there and then there's also some more stuff stored up here uh, what I'd like to do now is uh, go ahead and show you uh, everything all set up so you have a better idea of what everything looks like Okay, so this is everything all open and laid out. This is the white table that was stored under the rear portion of the platform. Um, and this, uh, you know, it's open and it's got all the cookware as well as the utensils on there. That's the lawn chair that was also stored under the platform. That's the two burner propane stove all open and connected to the five pound refillable propane tank. This is, a, this is a stepping stool, a foldable stepping stool. Again, because it's so high up, it allows you to step up and access the contents of the fridge, which you could see there's plenty of water in here. Uh, tonight's dinner is gonna be a steak. So I'm gonna be doing that after filming, after finishing this, uh, this video. Uh, this is the sink all laid out uh, so this is your fresh water sitting on a drawer to a drawer topper fully extended out this is your sink drawer you know this is the sink insert and you insert the sink in here and then you have that connected to the uh, gray water uh, container so that's your sink setup uh, the fridge can also be removed and placed outside on this white table the uh, the connection is long enough to stay connected and by doing that you can open up the rear into an unobstructed view back here so you could do that if you want um, but yeah so that is pretty much the uh, setup so that concludes the tour of the 89 suburban square body build uh, in this beautiful beautiful national forest uh, right now what I'd like to do is get started on my uh, dinner cooking my dinner so I'm gonna have to let you go but until next time take care and have a great day bye bye